Uh, first up. Okay, we got some RFID blocking cards. Uh, you like these? We saw these in a hacker box. And I was like, yeah, we can get these. You know, packs of ten. We have vertical and horizontal style. This is the vertical style, so it slides in. It's got this cool hologram effect. This is the horizontal side. It slides from the side. They both work wow. the same. They block RFID. They block um, you can get with NFC. This, or you can get with that. You can go with this. Or you can go with that. I say if you can get rainbows on things, do it. I but do look I at understand the rainbows. some people don't want the rainbows. Okay. They do come in a pack of 10. It's inexpensive enough that it wasn't like we don't want to sell individual because of the packaging. That yeah. would be annoying. Um, you can give them away. You know, uh, it's handy if you um, want to shield. Also, you know, what could be good is if you want to keep your. Um, if you have like two access cards and you want to keep one from triggering yep. so like they don't conflict, uh, this is another side effect of these. But okay. um, yeah, RFID blockers, great for privacy and security. Or maybe if you want to like practice, uh, also if you have, you're building wireless stuff and you want to practice what happens if there's no signal. Yeah. This is like a little mini Faraday cage. Works just as well. Next up. Next up, uh, 34 pin, two by 17 IDC connectors. Uh, these are well known to me because they are used in Shugart 34 pin floppy drives. Uh, yeah. So I'm doing more floppy stuff and I'm going to need these connectors. So I thought I'd get them into the shop. Um, if you're doing floppy stuff or something that just uses a 34 pin IDC, you're going to want these. They're, uh, you know, you can solder them into a perf board. Um, you can use them with our IDC helpers and use them in a breadboard. They'll, the IDC helper thingy will kind of spread the pins apart. Next up, we've got the smallest. LED matrix possible. Hold yeah, uh, here's a quarter for comparison. So this is a. It could be any size. M2. Just, no, I know. It could be the size of a football field. It could be. Enormous. It could also be the size of like you know, kind of like a human hand. Uh, you want to show this? Uh, yeah, let me show it on the, on the overhead, overhead. Or do you want to show no, it? Overhead, because it's not okay. that big. All right. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, so this is. Wait, let me set, wait, let me set this up. Uh, so this is the um, LED demo. So this is 64 by 64 pixels. Um, I think it's, I don't know, like six inches or so, maybe five, five inches on each side. This is the finest pitch you can get. I can't get them any smaller than this. Uh, so M2, two millimeter pitch. Um, I think I'm making an LED cube out of this, but uh, if you just want a very yeah. small, but very high resolution uh, display, um, it works with the matrix portal, of course. Uh, I just plug into the side here or um, any other board. It's basically just yeah. like any other Hub 75. Maybe but I uh, hold just it small. up here because I have this like zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and then like tilt it's it. It's like smaller than my face. Yeah, and this is very bright lights too. So just to give you an idea of yeah. what it looks like. Okay. Want to keep going? Yes. All right. Next up, more wireless. Okay. Stuff. We've got the wireless LEDs. Hold on. Let yeah. me get my demo set up. One second. There's been a lot of, I'll, I'll show like each one. So there's been a lot of folks that are using this for model making. They put them inside things. Cosplay. Um, cosplay. It is just super neat. And we have a bunch of different colors. Um, okay. the, uh, the, yes. the photos of them with them off, of course, all look very similar. So right. I kind of just did that. And so then, there, there are two sizes. These are the smaller size. And I don't remember the exact measurements offhand, but they are in the technical specs. Um, and they work with either the large or uh, small ring, uh, just for the demo here. Yeah, I've this is cool. So when we QA these to make sure they're the right ones in the bags, yeah. we don't have to take them out of the bags. I know, it is kind of nice. So these are the yellows, and you know, they work about you know, six inches away, the greens. The yellows are kind of the dimmest, I'll say. The greens and the blues and the whites yeah. are, are, well, that's are a big old field brighter too, LEDs. So. Um, so these are like the small LEDs. Small LEDs, and then these are the big ones. I do want to compare the two sizes so people see them. I think the larger ones, I might also get the packs of the larger ones, um, but I'll say that, you know, they're just, you're, they're larger, they're tougher to fit into a small model. So depending on what you're using. So these are the small and large ones. They are a little bit different sized. Um, they're both, uh, looks like 222, which is what, uh, to 2.2 micro henry's probably um sounds about right but this one is just uh you know a, just a bigger um inductive coil so we'll probably just pick up a little bit more current that's it they're the same brightness looks like the uh the larger ones will pick up the signal for a little bit yeah little bit i had more. A, um i had some clear uh building blocks not lego not lego yeah. not lego that i put them in 
and filmed. It was kind of cool. So that's a really good use of them. You can okay. make glowing building blocks. So this is a good example. So yeah, so the larger ones, you can go like the small ones can go like maybe six inches and the large ones can go maybe like 12 inches away. So um, we'll get the large ones as well, but the small ones, you know, if you're just building a smaller model um, and you don't care about having it work, you know, 10, 12 inches away from the coil, yeah. so these like, are good. Here's something fun. You know, you can put one of these. But yeah, these fit into. Yeah, you can put one of these inside. The Lego. A, uh, no, it's not a Lego. Sorry, the brick. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a Lego. The bricks compatible bricks. So every time, yeah, the Lego, they, they don't, they email us and I'm like. No, I, see, the large one doesn't fit. Yeah, this one, well, you can put it in, the, you can put it on the side. You can put it. Maybe. You know, like, yeah. Does it? There. Yeah, anyways. But this one fits in, in both. Yeah. Brick. So it's cool. Brick slots. Yeah. And look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay. So now That's you've cool. got bricks and then you can even put it in the, uh, in the side slot of the bricks. Yeah. Okay. So now we know. Basically, if you're doing brick stuff, you want the, the tiny ones. Yeah. So anyways. So there you go. They're cool. These are neat. Brick slots. Okay. We learned a lot about bricks today. Okay. And when you go on the website. Um, all different colors. All different colors. Okay. Great. Next up, start the show besides you, Lady Ada. Our community, our customers, our team is... This uh, this is a LCD 10-digit display with I squared C, which makes it so handy if you want to add like a calculator-like display that's daylight readable to your project. Um, this is by um, I now I've forgotten the name of the uh, lab. Hold on, it's on the back of the board. It's something labs. It's Turing Complete Turing Labs. Complete Labs. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say like Twisted Labs. Uh, Turing Complete Labs. So this is a um, you know, it's, it's a calculator display. You can see it's got the digits. It's got like the memory and, and uh, erase uh, symbols and the negative sign. It's also got the commas that you can use if you want to um, uh, have long digits that have comma separators, um, not just decimals. And it's got an I2C driver chip. So you see here, it's I'm not like individually toggling all those segments and pins because there's a lot of them. It's a pain. Instead, we use uh, this I2C chip underneath. So let me grab my... What do you want to show? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a live demo by unplugging okay. my matrix portal. All right. Hold on. Lots of activity going on I know. here. There's, the lot of, there's a lot of live here. demos this week. All right. Lots of stuff going on here, folks. Okay. Plug this in. Okay. So, yeah. So you can see, and it's very readable. So there's no backlight, just FYI. So watch out for that. So not good for night reading unless you want to add a separate light on top. But for daylight, you know, it's going to read just fine because uh, these are a very high contrast. Um, and you get all the digits and you play with them and then you can chain other I2C devices. Uh, so it's a very convenient way to add, um, you know, daylight readable numeric, large numeric digits to your, okay. 10 segment digits to your project. And, and there's an Arduino library that, that you can use. That is new products this week. Yay.